Hi there, I'm trying today to show you how to draw a section, a basic section based on the previous uh, uh, section that I've done in earlier video. And uh, as you can see, the building actually was just four meter high, and I just increased that uh, 320 millimeter, same to the parapet, and I stretched the section to make it 4320 instead of uh, a height of four exactly just to make it slightly more complicated and more realistic number actually and uh, in this uh, example I will try to show you how we do that and as we agreed before in the class with my AutoCAD lesson uh, student that we said that uh, the range that we need to depend uh, to divide the 4.3 meter the height uh, is 0.15 the height of the razor or it should be 0.2 meter uh, the maximum that's the minimum and the mat that the maximum and again you have to be very careful of those or these range it doesn't apply for everything but we agreed in the class that we can use them for just a study case you, you have to check actually the code and the regulation for each country that you are designing for and know exactly what is the acceptable range but that's usually accepted in, in a wide range of countries anyway uh, so you can either divide the 4.3 which is the floor finish to floor finish height divide it on 0.15 or divide as 0.2 to get like 21.6 raises and as we know that's impossible to have a fraction so you have to round that up to 22 and then redivide again to know the actual number of uh, each razor which is that 0.1963 as a value so knowing that 22 is the total amount of razors needed that means you need 11 in each flight so if I apply that to this section which I want to show AA so I'll just go offset and 1200 and draw a 1200 here and then 200 here and another 1200 like that and 1200 like that to have the landing shown as you see here and then offset that at 300 so that's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven so sorry that uh, my laptop is actually slow kind of so I'm going to trim all those lines and come here to see it's 800 so that kind of mess up the situation here it's not enough so we're not allowed to do the stair that doesn't have 1200 in front of it as enough space to maneuver at least one meter but not 800 so it would be a good idea to rotate that stairs 90 degree and try to fit it in against the other section I'm using here M space P space move the previous so I don't need to select again similar thing so now I do believe the condition is much better see it's 1800 so more than we need actually so in this case we have to copy paste I'll just copy paste the entire flow and take it aside rotate it yeah, I think I need to take this line with me Oops. All that. Mm -hmm. Okay. And take it to that. 
and then I will just rotate it and 90 degree so the BB is actually facing that way upward so I can start drawing this section and just to be careful again same method we use that wherever the section line cut the walls you have to take the projection down and then do the similar process just for the structural element first so I'm just repeating now a way of drawing a section here and always 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 use this section that we have just a copy of it I love to do so that's easier way to draw it so is that if that a section line just stretch it I love to do that and if that a wall just to stretch it I'll just get rid of that line and stretch the entire thing here that way see and beside that that's a door so is that a block or something good it's not a block so just to stretch that down beautiful to make a door and as you can see that this is the end of the roof so I'll just stretch that so it is very smart of you to use this previously made section stretch don't throw things again and again that cause a dramatic slow results of you which uh, actually not really welcomed in any kind of work environment you have to be very fast see it's much better than doing the entire drawing again and uh, that is really kind of a, a good exercise to practice maybe you need a, a line here to show it's actually here to show that line which is the start of the curve that's happened in the roof match property and voila that's your section in a really fast method get rid of the window that you have in here and you also need to see this line in elevation and you also seeing this door also so that line here kind of flaggy computer that I have here so again take that here that's with a rectangle that's your door that's the opening no need for the structural lines match property this to this and that of course that doesn't goes up so just just like that and I will leave the rest of the story like doing 50 here and having a frame beside what side the door actually swing and let's say like that and I will leave the hatch and line type for you to be done I don't want to waste time and now the important part and that's already sitting in the correct place so in this case I will go here to take you're gonna start with actually the existence of uh, landing so draw the landing first like that and again you have to be aware that it, this section is actually designed from the floor finish to floor finish so you have to draw a line from the floor finish let's have it uh, somewhere here from the floor finish to floor finish and then you divide that line or having find out the midpoint of it like this the common mistake that I know my student do they just come to the ceiling here yeah, like this and they divide that and tell me here you go you put the flight the floor finish for the landing here and that's so wrong because you actually need to work on 
the floor finish not on the ceiling so careful with the start of the line and the end of it so that's wrong that's right anyway now take horizontally all the lines that you have and I'm going to draw technically uh, the cut flight which is this one this has to be shown in section like that all right now just change the color and return to the word file so that's my secret number that I found 0 0.1963 as it is so pull a line in this point you go up and you make 196 point three which is one millimeter nine six point three and then you drag that all the way to the floor finish of the landing so this is 0 0.196 millimeter uh, meter or 196 millimeter whatever the units you are and then PL and then use the line goes up to the edge and then horizontally to the line and then to this point like that depending on the intersection that will make sure to distribute and create a equally made an equally made uh, stairs specifically the razors Again, my laptop kind of slow, sorry for that. And just take a line again from the lower edges. Offset that line 0.2, in this case 200. Usually 170 is accepted, but just to be safe, 200. Remove the upper line and here we go we have our cut section or cut uh, stairs part of it take this here 200 fill it that like this match property again and you're not allowed to do that so you have to extend this lab and then remove this because it's actually need to sit on this wall like that and the right thing is even to have a drop beam here anyway I'm not talking structurally and more in details I'll remove this uh, first I have to extend this actually sorry and then remove it and again lots of offices actually draw it that way I noticed that just to increase its strength and remove that to this way or just like this it's also okay anyway so that's that's the section part of it that's that you need to hatch actually so whenever I usually give that a reinforced concrete hatch so Again, if I want to do so, probably the entire section have to be closed. So if all that was a slab, I don't know, probably we need to close that before we hatch. And then, and then we do the hatch, but before the hatch, we should have taken a copy of this, move it, just a copy of all that here and then I have to mirror it and then move that again to this point specifically extended I'll change the color just to say 
the best thing is actually to change the layer itself. So this area have to be removed or has to be removed. So again, trimming that and it says actually need to be exploded. This, this and that have to be in the cut area. So all that should be removed, not to prevent the head from being hit by a slab. So when you want to hatch, you're gonna hatch this and that, of course. Whatever the scale is, I don't care. While this, you must leave it as an elevation. So because you're cutting this while you're seeing that, so that's the start up from this point you're going up, and then like that, and you go to the end point here. So you are cutting this one actually, which is this. That's basically what I was asking you to do during the lectures, and I will really ask you to indicate the hatch in the correct place. So don't hatch this one, and again you have to hatch this as a slab as we said while this one this one this one you can just give it a 45 line to represent that they are normal brick walls and the correct thing again is to complete in reality next lessons i'm going to show you how to complete this and draw a staircase area that have to protect you here from the rain that can come up and flood the entire area so you have to raise those wall another slab here and then you close that probably here like that with it all but just for the sake of uh, the the current lecture that we have at university i will accept this for you to do during the next class anyway i wish that was useful for you thank you and have a nice day